Let's let the siren go by and then we'll go. For sure. All right, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Jimmy, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Uh, Naples, Florida. Naples. And uh, tell me about your family. You had both your parents when you were a kid? Yeah, shit. Both my parents been drug addicts their whole lives, too. Shit, you know, like, since the since first I can remember it, you know, like, my mom, shit, my mom gave me my first line of fat and all. My dad gave me my first hit of crack. Shit, 15, 16. You know, like, I've always known my parents were drug addicts. You know, so honestly, I felt like... I'm kind of like, yeah, that's what I'm meant to be, but like, shit, my whole family, honestly. Honestly, every single one I know. You yes, know? your brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have a, a five-year-old brother back in Florida and an older brother who died from Crohn's disease. But I never met him because my mom, DCF took him from my mom. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm pretty much only child growing up, you know? Grew up like, you know, a nice, nice neighborhood, you know, just like, you know, mom on dope, dad not around or either Mom not around and dad on dope. So like, it's either like, it's just a mix, like, you know? How far did you go in school? I graduated high school. Yeah. And what'd you do after that? <sighs> Sad, start, just started getting high, you know? Got lazy, I, I got a couple of jobs and then ended up just saying, like, I got hurt at work, got on workers compensation, you know, like, that's like the worst thing for me, you know, getting paid for free. Sitting there and then, you know, just fucking blowing my money, and, you know, get a couple hundred bucks in the mail. Go blow it and then wait for the next check, you know? I, and uh, drugs started for you at what age? I, I, I imagine early. Well, yeah. I mean, like fentanyl, 16, which is my my main my main problem, like what I really love. Like, but pretty much, yeah, everything started, like, I did everything at start, starting at 16. Like, I started smoking spice at like 13, 14 in middle school because it was legal in Florida, you know? Like, you can go buy the gas station, K2, like synthetic weed. And honestly, like, I, I think, like, sometimes that's what probably fucked me up because me and my friends were smoking, like, a quarter ounce of that shit a day, you know? How old are you now? 23. 23. You don't seem like you've been doing all these heavy drugs. Yeah, shit. For, <laughs> for seven years. Yeah, well, bro. Like, shit, that's the whole reason I'm out here, bro. I came out here to get to, for treatment reasons, you know? Like, you've OD'd before? Yeah, plenty of times. You've fentanyl here. Yeah, fentanyl. I've OD'd off heroin, you know, too. Bunch of, I don't know. I try to keep my parents better, you know? Like, I'm not, like... You know, I don't know, honestly, like, a lot of people don't think that, but, like, you know, shit. But I get that, like, fucking, I'm a real deal drug addict, bro. Like, you know, I wish I wasn't. Where are you staying now? Uh, on the streets, bro. Yeah. You have a tent, or you just, like, no, just wherever? I have some people's tents like that, like, I'm cool with. That, like, you know, I just, you know, whoever wants to let me stay at night. You know, I got some people that take care of me. What, uh, what do you do for money? Hustle, bro. Hustle, and then sometimes, you know, I'll have, a, like, a homeboy send me some money, you know? Like, thank God. Like, you know, I'm thankful for my friends. Like, they help me out a lot. How low have you gone for money? <laughs> Bro. I've heard everything. No, I haven't gone, like, to, like, to get out of my, like, to, to no, nothing, like, be gay. Nothing against gay people. But, like, I've, I'm stealing. I'm a thief, bro. I've lied, manipulated, all that shit, bro. Like, bottom to bottom, bro. Like, nothing I'm proud of. Definitely. Nothing I'm proud of. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel like you were loved when you were a kid? Yeah, but like not not love, like not as more, not like, yeah, somewhat. Like, but, but, but like, not, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, bro. Not, not as much as they love drugs, you know, obviously. Because to this day, they're, both my parents are drug addicts, you know, and like, problem still, there's nothing, I don't know. I kind of feel like they're unfixable, you know, at this point. Yeah, shit, bro. Like, honestly, I really, I really wanted to get my shit together for my little brother, you know? He's five, and I don't want him growing up like I did, bro. Yeah. Do you have any friends? Yeah, I got a, I got some friends, you know? Not out here, you know, all back home. Mm -hmm. and what, what emotions do you deal with? I'd be with like, a lot of, like, depression, like, sadness, you know? I'm real depressed a lot. You know, I'm like, I'm... I, remember, I get angry sometimes, but like I don't, I don't really take it out on anyone. You know, it's for usually like taking it out on myself. But I'm real kind, bro. Like you know, I'm respectful. Like 
I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't try to like, I try to like, you know, reason with everyone, you know, sometimes I'm too nice. A lot of people tell me like, well, you're like way too kind, you know, like I let people take advantage of me. But like more the emotions, bro, I'm just really in my head a lot, you know, like thinking like this shit's never going to change, you know? Yeah. Did you feel like there's a chance you'll never get away from drugs? Yeah. After watching your parents? Yeah, definitely. Bro. I feel like every day. I feel like I'm unfixable. Definitely, because, you know, I've been to plenty of treatment centers, top end, you know, get clean. How long as I've had is probably 60 days, you know, and, you know, I just get, I get a little cash in my pocket and I get bored and I just, you know, it's fucking like that. And then I'm literally one time leads to back on the streets, you know, and then I get like com fucking comfortable with being on the damn tent, which, you know, I've never been like that, you know, like, I, like, I don't know why, like. I don't know, these past few runs, I'm like, fuck it, you know, the streets is like, you know, I'm all right with sleeping in a tent, which usually we shouldn't be, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's where I'm at, you know? You still have contact with your family? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I talk to my mom every couple, every day, a couple of days now through the week, and my dad, I talk to my dad a lot, you know? My dad, he's a good dude, you know? He he works his ass off and he does his thing, but like, you know, and he made reason, he's pretty much the reason I graduated high school he was really strict on me, you know, like, but like, he just didn't know what I was doing after school, you know, it's make it to school. You make it to school, you're good. You know, you get, you get C's and up, you're good. Which, you know, that's pretty, but like, after that, you know, I got my freedom and that's pretty much where I started fucking up more, you know? What do, what do you worry about now? My, my little brother, bro. My five-year-old brother. And my future, definitely. And my, like, you know, my whole family, you know, I want them to, I want them to do better. Did you have dreams of doing something with your life when you were younger? Yeah, bro. Sorry. Shit, bro. I used to be really good sports player, bro. I was really good. As you can see, I'm like 6'4", you know? I was a big kid. What was your sport? Basketball? Basketball, baseball. I was, I'm was left-handed, you know? I would just destroy every, like, I would be, I'd be, like, way too good for my age, you know? And all the parents knew it, bro. I was always excelling, doing good, but... You know, through my fucking parents' actions, like I ended up just moving states and states and just not going to school for months, you know, just because of like they wouldn't enroll me or just shit like that, bro, you know? Yeah, I just, and then honestly, like I grew up like, and then I got to the point where like, it was like, I didn't want to do nine to five, you know, I wanted to sell drugs. Like, I thought that was like fucking, thought that I was going to do that forever, you know, like. You know, like be a badass kid, like nah. Because I used to, at one point, bro, I would, you know, I, I, I was selling out to crack a day, but like I'm not, I'm not proud of it at all, bro. You know, Cause, like I ruined a lot of people's lives. But that's how I used to think, you know. Shit, now I want to fucking. I, I don't know what I'm. I know I just need to get my shit together, bro. Honestly. What do you think most people that don't? do drugs don't understand about it about addiction it happened to anyone you know like it's it's it doesn't discriminate you know like you know like a lot of like it can happen you go get hurt you know you go to the doctor prescribe you it like it can happen to your to you you know easily you get painkillers and yeah and that's what happened that's true. that's how my parents happened that happened to my parents you know it happens to a lot of people that way yeah shit Do you, do you suspect it's it's something you picked up genetically from your parents or is it just the role models you had around the house? Genetically, you know, like a lot of people always say, yeah, it's genetic, but no, I think it's more the, the role model thing, bro. You know, like, like, cause if my environment wasn't the way it was, I don't think I would have did the shit I did and be the way I am. But, you know, it's all my, like I take, you know, it's definitely my actions, but like the way, like the shit I seen and like, you know, like, just watching my parents pick up drugs and watching the shit they do and hearing the stories, you know, like 
definitely definitely took effect, you know, and thinking that's normal, you know? Like, like yeah, that's normal, you know. I would think that's normal, but in my in reality it's not, you know, like no one should have to do that. What do you think might save you from this? Is there anything? Falling in love with a girl? <laughs> bro. <laughs> I've been dating the same girl for four years, but when she's she's not a drug addict, she goes to Florida State University. She's amazing, you know. Like she stuck with me through my addiction. She wants me to get clean, but you know, I ended up fucking. She ended up like breaking up with me because like I can't get clean, bro. You know. I still talk to her, and she still like hopes to like, to get to like make shit work, but she just she wants me to to get my shit together because you know she wants she, no one wants to be with fucking. Someone who only cares about themselves. And it's more, more likely you'll take her down than she'll take exactly. you up. Exactly. Do you yeah. feel shame and guilt over all this? A lot, though, yeah. Letting her down? Definitely. Let a lot of people down. But, you know, I, got, I, I know I can fix it, you know? It's just, I got to do it. Just stop fucking feeling sorry for myself sometimes and just get up and do it, you know? What was your typical day? Consist, what does it look like? You wake up in the morning and wake eat. up, usually dope sick, go go make some make a couple bucks and then get get my fix and then honestly just you know, just just keep hustling through the day, you know, just push time get time pushing by, you know. You just living day by day? Yeah. Nothing yeah, exactly. Same shit every day. Yeah. Sad, but like Do you think getting like getting caught? Boosting and then ending up in jail for a few I've weeks. I've already been caught, bro. I'm not boosting, but I've had I've been in jail for months on months. Did not pro- the best time when I, the best thing the best time I ever did clean was on probation. I got almost a, almost a whole year clean, bro. Really? I, I did really good. So really what happened to get out? Yeah, like, but like I was just more of the fear factor of do this or go to jail for a year. You know, like or get high, like you fail a drug test, you're going like in Florida they take that shit real serious. I don't know about out here because like you know they're they're lenient out here because they have bigger crimes. But where I'm from, they're they're slamming people for like a dirty urine. You know, like you're gonna go might go to prison for that shit. And I was like, fuck that. You know, like. Yeah. Do you have friends in high school that are in a similar situation as you? A lot, bro. A lot of friends. Like my shit, my best friend is the one that got me out here to go to treatment. He's uh pretty much the same, just like me, you know, like a year or two older than me. But pretty much a lot of kids where I'm from bro, are like, you know, they ended up drug addicts. You know, it's just it's a small little town. You know, it's like it's really rich. You know, it's you know, like people like their families are wealthy. You know, and you don't have shit to do, shit to do. You know, it's like first you're smoking a lot of weed, and then it's like oh, you know, here. Let's, let's fucking take some Xanax and then on oh, and on the Percocets and then you're smoking Percocets. That's like a tinfoil, you know? And then when you run out of money, it's the heroin. It's pretty much a cycle, bro. What's been the hardest part of your life living like this? But yeah. The hardest part of it, bro, is like to, to, act, to fucking, to just... To, to start like, like I'm in love with the drug bro honestly like just to like to get my obsession off of it you know like I can't like it's kind of hard you know like it, it, could, it takes over your, the way you think the way you feel everything you know like it turns into a whole different person because like when I'm clean I'm a whole another person how many years have you been living on the street like this? Uh, almost now almost a full year now at first I wasn't like you know in the tent and shit like that I was like you know, and pay for hotels. I was stacking a little money, you know, and, you know, like trying to be like, have a somewhat of a life, but now I'm just full blown in a tent, you know, no laundry, like shit like that. You, you see yourself changing as you're living like this? I do, but I, I also see time ticking by and all these people out here that were just like me, you know, and like had it, like had a chance and blew it, you know, and now they're, now they're doing give, like, you know, they're stuck content, you know, they're content with their life. They're peaceful, but they're not happy, you know? I want to be happy. What's the most important lesson you've learned in your life? And to fucking just... To to be honest, it's like, you know, it's it's like stay in school, go to school and do like, do the right thing, you know? Like, don't fucking... 
that shit's not cool, it's not fun, you, know, you will fuck up your life. You know, just like listen to your listen to your elders that know that know what they're talking about, you know, and like, you know, and even if they're younger, you know, like, you know, just stop like I don't know, just like fucking Do you see a lot of people in your shoes that they all got started with peer pressure? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Or just thinking of, you know, be trying to be cool, shit like that, you know? And then they're like 15, 16, 17, you know, like, yeah. And they, they don't, they don't, they think it's cool, you know, they see it in music. Music's a big fucking thing. Like, you know, people always want to be the next thing popping or something. Like, I don't know, like, yeah, people are trying to keep up with the next trend or something, you know, drinking lean, like, you know, shit. That's like doing heroin, you know? You get shit. And people don't realize the danger. Yeah. Potentially. Shit, you know, do fucking, do Percocets for ten, seven days straight, you know, you're gonna wake up addicted. You're not like, you're not gonna think you're like, but you're gonna start feeling shitty and you're gonna need them eventually, you know, just to even to start your day, not even to get high, you know? I don't even get high anymore. I just get, I, I get well. Yeah, you just, you, know? you just need to get rid of the dose. Get well, yeah. What do you wish was different about your life? Maybe when you were a young child, it might've helped. Parents, that, uh, weren't, parents, parents that weren't addicts, maybe. Yeah, well, I wouldn't train my parents, you know, just because, like, I just, I know I love them to death, you know, like, you know, but, like, definitely, like, maybe, like, because I lived, I started, as a young kid, I lived with everyone else but my parents. My parents would put me in, like, to live with friends, you know, and they try, they, they try to give me a chance, but, yeah, I, I just wish, I don't know, maybe, like, I had a different environment, you know, and, like, you know, like, I know my parents wish they did better, but I can't change that, you know? Maybe the person I am, you know? But I know I could, I could, I still have plenty of time to fix it. I just, you know, I just gotta, like I said, get up and do it, you know? Because I've had the opportunities. I've had plenty of people, plenty of opportunities of like great people trying to help. And I fuck them up, you know? Just blow them or fucking just, you know, like not answer, you know? just. Or just fuck it up somehow. All right, Jimmy. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. No problem. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck. Appreciate it. I hope you hope you straighten out. Sure. Yeah.